Good day fam people, how are you? I'm doing well today, we're back with the video, this time we're doing a request by Jensen Bold. Well, correct me if I said that wrong, I usually do get names wrong. With this, the uh, fuck, fuck, uh, apologies, what's the full name? Darkness Full Reels, it's not release, it's Reels, R-E-A-L-S-E. If you're looking for it, the tags are uh, challenging historical and humor. It should be, or at least when I did it, it was on page one and the fourth option along the top row. This guy just tripped over. I don't know why he did that. I was just trying to get the thumbnail. And this looks pretty dope. I mean, his legs are pretty freaky. I'll, I'll say that much. But these units do look pretty interesting. If I mean, it's a lot of black. That's the first thing I'm noticing. Second thing I'm noticing is that guy is bugging out. Probably because I put him on the edge of the map and he's floaty. Anyway, uh, let's just test these units individually. Because that would be a smart idea. I feel like this is a pretty fair comparison. A chomper. Little bastard. Uh, versus a squire. Oh, he went for the nuts. He was just sucking up. <laughs> I just processed what I was about to say. <laughs> oh, it's fucking hilarious. I already like this. <laughs> okay, this is not so hilarious anymore. I think this guy might be a little broken. Never mind, he is perfectly balanced. Hold on, let me, uh, let me do one more test for this guy. That is uh, the arrow test. See how archers handle these little guys. I predict it's going to have a lot of issues with it. S volley. I'm sorry, I'm a computer. I don't know how to get this. Predictably a miss. Okay, let's do the two arch test. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, two archers seems to be the sweet spot for killing this guy. Noted. The Dark Staffer, you already know who we got to test against. We got to test it against the Sarissa. Because <laughs> it's one of the better units and I like spears. Yeah, damn, never stood a chance. Squire. This is a more fair test. More on its caliber. Did not one shot it though. Interesting. I mean, both of them are, did not did not three shot. So very meager damage. Okay, so it takes four hits to kill a normal squire. That's that's not very good. You are so meager. Okay, it's pretty fun to use the staff at times. God, squire, you are so pathetic. Why would anybody hire you? Oh, what the damage though the damage okay so two shots okay so not a lot of hp we'll do the arrow test obviously can it survive no it cannot so overall decent fodder unit you know good fairly okay melee capacity but uh beyond that not much else overall not a bad unit you know the weapon of choice is very good now it's just against this oh, that's a bomb He didn't die, okay, fair enough. He's got a very slow fire rate. I missed, okay. Uh, let's do the normal test. Three squires. I missed. Eight second long reload speed. Can survive two hits. Well, it survived one hit. Dies to the second. Uh, well, actually, we'll give it one last. No, we'll give it one last test. Arch test. Okay, issue number one range. It's only got the normal buckshot range. And it cannot survive that much damage. Okay, so not a great unit overall, in my opinion. Hold on, interesting. I like the sword choice. This is a sword I don't see often in custom units. Design-wise, it feels like the typical black and white samurai. I've seen that a few dozen times by now. 
I mean, uh, Mike Zhang had like black and gold one. I like black and gold, but I also like black and white, you know? It's pretty awesome. It obviously works as against Squire. And we'll see how this goes. Uh, uh, I guess it's got a better sword, or at least a cool looking sword. That's all that matters, really. As long as you look cooler, you'll be remembered. Hell, one of the most well known, well, I'm not sure how well known it is, but a very famous Japanese fighter, Sasaki Kojiro, world's greatest loser, or was it world's, or just the greatest loser in history? Hell, he, he lost his famous fight. But it was so glorious that he got immortalized for it. Even ah. though he lost. So he one shots the squire. And we'll never know how many shots it takes for the squire to kill him. Never mind, it's a one shot too. But so basically this is just a better squire, you know. Both can one shot each other, but this one's got better range. Never mind, he did not get one shot. He got oh, it takes two hits apparently. Maybe it just rebound and hit him again. So better range, that's one thing I'm noticing. Better range with the sword and has the spook ability. Okay, that's a... What's the cost? Not bad, not bad. Gas thrower, you gotta love the gas throwers. Right for the balls. And it's a pretty quick killer. Let's see how three squires spread out handle this. I mean, gas is always a pretty powerful weapon. Until it's not. Okay, he's, I mean, he's still got decent health. Okay, so it's definitely a support unit, I'll say that. It's not really bad, not really good. It's hard to judge support units usually. Dark Pike, you obviously have to compare it to the normal Pike. Both hit at the same time. But Blue won, despite the fact that both died. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, now we'll test it against, uh, what's a tanky unit? The king. The king is a tanky unit. Swing. Ooh, he can hit multiple times. That's very good. Okay, interesting, interesting. So that's quite a lot of damage. And now we'll obviously have to compare it to the normal pike, damage-wise. Granted, the pike only hits once. Same damage, but the pike, uh, the dark pike is cheaper and hits more than once. So, okay, this is an improvement. Well done. Now this guy, I have no idea what to compare it to, so I'm just going to compare it to a halberd, because it's 400, 400, and I don't think the halberd gets enough love. Haha. -ha. Are you, are you, is this is a joke? Okay, so it's, it's literally just a mediocre distraction. It floats, it's annoying. That's it. Wheelbarrow, we'll have to tell it to uh, some peasants. No, squ squires, yes, yeah, squires. Reasoning being, you're not really using wheelbarrow versus wheelbarrow combo, are you? No, you're doing this. You're disrupting the enemies. Yeah! I missed. He's killing me. Help, he's murdering me. I, this guy's a good distraction, I'll give him that. He's not chipped over, unlike the normal wheelbarrow. Would, oh, no, my jeez. Uh, he's, uh, he's gone. Okay. You're not leaving this situation alive, boy. Oh, Jesus, what? It's tripped over. Okay, so even when tripped over, it's still functional. This is a pretty wild invention. It's not really good at killing anything, but it doesn't have to be. Again, it's a distraction disruptor unit. Oh, my hands came unstuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Kill it. Are we about to get soloed? Yeah. Oh, he's running me over. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Where is he? He's literally hiding. No, he, they're separate units. They're separate units. That's why they're able to do this. They're separate. I'm um, help! 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 Okay, this guy's actually crazy. Oh, what's he? Ooh, one shots. Okay, so this guy's pretty wild. His ability, wild. His durability, unknown. We'll have to do the arrow test. This feels like Minecraft. Am I the only one getting that vibe? Well, let me fix the arm. You just gotta like spin it round. Spin your lit. Oh, it's stuck between the legs. Okay, well, this might be a bit more difficult then. Yeah, removing it from the legs is the hardest one. Half the time, I don't even know how I do it. Spin it round. Sometimes it just spins the camera round instead of spins the body. That's the difficult part. Swing it whilst. There we go. You gotta kind of swing it whilst that's happening. Come on. I just gotta kill the. Are you. How much health? 
I literally can't... So the cart is its separate entity, but it can't be killed. That's pretty OP as far as I'm concerned. So obviously we're going to have 12 against 12 archers. Try against 12. It literally blitzes them so fast they can't even shoot. Okay, we're going to have to put the 12 archers here. And then spread out like a few dozen guys here. We'll make a house. They literally can't keep up. They're, they're confused. They do, they're confuzzled. They cannot comprehend what they're seeing. And now he's murdering everybody. Ooh, he actually shot the guy. And he, he can take a, an arrow, I suppose. One individual arrow. This is pretty crazy, I'm not gonna lie. And now I'm dead. But now it's just the cart left, and the cart is invincible, so... See how this goes. I literally can't control the cart, so I think it might just be invincible. We do not know how to handle this new form. Yeah, they literally aim above it. They do understand how the wheelbarrow works. Okay, so that's pretty busted unit. I'll put it in the go-to tier, but just to make sure it's not, you know, chance we're losing. That guy got eviscerated. <laughs> I love how it just slows down before it attacks. Like, it's waiting for the person on top to do the job, but uh, there's nobody left on top. Nobody but me! I don't want to shoot a teammate. Who am I kidding? I want to shoot a teammate. Right, let me back up. That way I don't miss this shot. That was a direct hit on the wheelbarrow. Effectiveness? Probably in the negatives. Okay, so one last test to make sure that... Uh, that, uh, that this is not just flukes. Well, I might do another test after this because this is kind of crazy. Fast enough to dodge cannons to a degree. Noted. It's got that next level durability. And the guy on top clearly does not have that same durability, but uh, still pretty wild. Hey, you need to die. Okay, uh, should we clip? Was that a red victory? Can't tell. We'll have to go with the explosion cards. This is clearly the definitive winner. Fire! Boom. A direct hit was not enough to put him down. I'm starting to get fuzzled. I don't know what game I'm playing anymore because this is clearly not it. This ain't tabs anymore. Oh god, he's attacking me. He's jumping me! Help! Help us! Yeah, it is literally immortal. We died before it died. So, it's either immortal or it's got such ridiculous HP, it doesn't even matter. So, that's a busted unit. Respect. The Dark Relic Sword. Obviously, we're gonna test against Hoplite. Why? Because I can. Come on, you got this guy. So, he, he built different, different. Okay, I mean, what cost did he? Is that surely like this? Equal cost, yeah. Charge! I got absolutely sidelined. I never saw a chance. I mean, we nearly got him. Okay, so that guy is good. I'd say he's pretty balanced overall. Nah, I'm just joking, he's pretty powerful. Not broken, broken, you know, we reserve the broken tier for very few units. Don't feel like I use the devout gauntlets enough, so we'll see what they uh, handle the wizard. Okay, so necromancer. Okay, so we've got a Necromancer. <laughs> Jesus Christ, got absolutely blasted. Okay, we'll put that in the good tier. Or mediocre tier. Ten of you. And then we'll obviously have to go with ten of you. What could possibly go wrong? There's no way we get slaughtered. Not like last time, at least. Oh, we're about to get slaughtered like last time, aren't we? Romans have not had a good week or month this time around, have they? No, they haven't. I mean, the Persian Empire video. Happy views, you know, 1.2k. It's nice to see those numbers again, but god damn. The Romans are not having a good time this year. He's going to swing again. Oh, that's such a brutal hit. Swing! Durability. He's got okay. Now nah, this is never a fair fight, was it? That was never a fair fight. Okay, arch test, obviously. 
that is what's going to help determine this if it's OP or not. If you can survive seven hours, I'd say it's fitting in the powerful category. Okay, yeah, this is uh, this is in the bit busted category. I mean, literally, the cost is just a faster firing catapult or because it's got two hands. Its accuracy is still appalling because it's the pumpkin catapult, but uh. There's a unit, if you can actually hit it, it's like the normal catapult, basically. Just a better normal catapult. Okay, this one we've always got to test against uh, 10 hoplites. This way, if he tries to blitz through us, it ain't gonna happen, son. This is the strategy, you know. He tries to get through. He's basically surrounded by hoplites. It's genius. If this guy's got the same light ability, I mean, not, not. I don't know why he's using a medieval shield with a Japanese uh, katana. I mean, everybody just says every type of Japanese blade is katana, but there's you know many different types like the Zetoichi, Nagas, Nagas something. I don't know. I'm not thinking about uh, the Nagasaki bomb. I'm thinking about something else, an actual blade. Okay. Yep. Just like I suspected, he's trying to charge through us, but it ain't gonna work. It is. I mean, most of our forces just went forwards, and oh now okay, we're surrounding again. This is all part of the strategy. How much damage is he taking? Um, from moderate damage. Okay, so this is a solid unit. I mean, I kind of went overkill number-wise. Okay, we'll just go with this. This feels like a. F okay, why do we have you, sir? Uh, not supposed to be there. Come on, boys. This is a more fair comparison. <laughs> Charge! I mean, his shield's kind of busted, but that doesn't matter. He's just gonna rush on in. Okay, I feel like this guy's a fair unit. Nothing crazy. Yeah, that was a good comparison. But I'm just joking. We we obviously have to do the first the normal knight. That's basically an obligation. You obviously got to compare the knight to the dark knight. This is ain't this ain't Batman this time around. Okay, so shield is broken on the normal knight. That feels like it happens more often. And it gets it's unable to unstuck itself. That's the first thing I'm noticing. It's also not having a good time in this fight. Okay, so it's just way superior to the normal knight. Okay, that's uh, that's kind of fair. I mean, it's basically double. At that point, you might well compare it to the. Uh, okay, now I just think now I think about it. I should compare it to the king, shouldn't I? Come on, you got this. Big sword versus mediocre sword and a bit of big shield. Big shield for big bitches. Come on, bring this. I was going to say hammer down or scythe down, but this ain't a scythe. It's a sword hander. Come on. You got. Oh, the king is decimating. Yeah, the king decimates. To be expected, I mean, it's the king. What is this? I remember they tried to make a Hades with the chair and things floating. I mean, not the same creator, obviously, but, uh, yeah. I feel like this is a fair comparison. Rush him down, boys. I do like, when it comes to the base units, Rome is one of my favorites, but, uh, modded, I just don't think they compare, usually. Yeah, as predicted, the fire's OP as always. That's I hate it. I hate it so much. Not anything to go wrong with the creator. I just think they made fire way too OP in tabs. Like seriously, nerf fire. I get the fire spreads, but at some point it's just like ridiculous. Now see how the king handles this. It's basically even for me, I think it's ridiculous because one, no dodging it. Unless you move it like Mark Ten, I guess maybe you can dodge it. And the fire damage. Residual fire damage is pretty crazy. But the king still wins, because he's the king. Da, da, da. Bodyguard, ooh. Okay, you usually have to tele test it against the halberds, because halberds, they they were basically bodyguards most of the time. That's why they were used so popular in the Renaissance era, because they just looked really intimidating. They could be used as fire axes, great range, you basically got the upside of a spear and stuff. And a lot of force can be applied. That's why it's got such a small axe head. Just decided to cut something, just supposed to go through the flesh. And this guy tanked it. Okay, this, this guy's probably reaching the OP category then. If he's got this much healthy, oh never mind, he's, he's in he's in the very good category. We we'll put him there. Okay, that was pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. And he's got the enrage, which is wild. 
Skeleton King, we obviously have got to compare him to the normal king, then we'll test him against the Void Monarch. I like the splash of purple. I like purple. Red, purple, blue, those are the best colours. Cause black and white are just shades, they don't count. Okay, so the king got his ass handed to him. That's, uh, honestly, I was kind of expecting that, to be honest. Void Monarch, this will be an actually interesting fight, though. Hopefully. Oh, who am I kidding? Both of them are just going to teleport everywhere. No, we'll tell what happens half the time. Oh, he leveled up. That means he's basically restored all of his HP, which is something I always find annoying. Yeah, that was kind of expected. And uh, finally, this thing. Obviously, the most fair comparison we can make here is just 20 of these guys. 20 spears. Twenty of these, and then boom, that's a pretty fair comparison, I say. Rush him down, boy! We're losing people by the dozen. Who could have ever predicted this? Oh no, oh no, we're losing. I just hit my mic. Or at least I hit the wire. Are we just gonna win? Because he. F yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna fling us off the map. So, would you look at that? It was a fair comparison in the end. Okay, obviously, I was joking, we obviously have to compare it to the Super Peasant, and then the Dark Peasant. Is he just gonna push him off the- okay, so this map is clearly not made for it. I mean, the one in the end. Okay, now this is the comparison we've all been waiting for. He literally flings himself off the map. His legs just okay. This is this is a fair comparison because he's doing it himself. He's just moving erratically. That's one of his downsides. Did they? Did he just send the dark peasant to the back rooms or something? Where is the dark peasant gone? There he is. Okay, so it's basically a tie. Neither kills each other. It's wild. Okay, let's, uh, for the sake of content, let's, no, let's get some of these guys. 15, that seems like a fair comparison. These guys are basically candles, you know, this has got to be the big video. You know, that's what I've somewhat learned over these times. Gunners, because, you know, explosions are a little too broken, I guess. What are the numbers? 29, so you want to make it to 39, I guess. On, let's just make sure we get the numbers right. 50, and we'll get to 30 here. 30, yes, wonderful. Just want to make sure we're not getting the numbers weird. This is going to kill everything, I already know. <laughs> But you know what it is, you know how it be sometimes. Only putting this many pikes because you know they're busted. Too busted if you ask me. Five of them. Two of these guys. The relic swords. Three. Four. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Actually, it would make more sense to have a... What am I doing with my life? Is a question I ask myself from time to time. Put him here and then we'll have the guy behind him because it looks more cinematic. Okay, now we need to add the other numbers. Let's go to include all the units except the giant guy because he's just still too OP. One, two, buckle my shoe. Five, six, 
Oh shit, we are gonna die. What, what is a good faction overall? Usually I'd use the Roman faction, but I feel like I'm bullying them too much. These guys only have the brawlers, so it's not a very good comparison. Okay, Roman Empire, we're going two for two. You are not getting a break anytime soon, I guess. Don't blame me, blame the audience. They enjoyed last time I bullied you, so we're bullying you again. So you have to have these guys to the side. This time we're going to give them more of a chance. They get snake arches this time around. And actual artillery, so when... Yes, we have the numbers advantage, but as you, we already know I'm going to need the numbers advantage this time around. So we should go 114. And let's go and see how this goes. There we go, perfect. Now we already know this is going to be a slaughter. And this slaughter is not in our favour. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Oh boy, I mean they're running over their own troops. Yikes. Yep, the pikes are picking people off. Here comes the pumpkins. Yikes. Snakes are being joined to our own guys. This is not a fair battle. At all. Oh, we're losing artillery. Oh boy. The cart's swinging by. Yeah, this, this battle does not... Why? They literally blocked out the sun? What the... Huh? Why is everything shrouded by darkness? This is how you know it's the full darkness release. This is crazy. Yeah, okay, this is over. I'm just gonna let it play out. Yeah, this was not even remotely close. Okay, here comes the sun. The last video is still uploading. Why is it taking so long? 27 minutes on this video, huh? Video go on time. Okay, let's drastically reduce these numbers. Okay, what what needs going? Okay, so we can't have the pikes because they're just broken. You know, reuse all attacks. Gas is also broken. Explosions, that's also broken for this. We're going to remove the ballistas to balance that out. Catapults again, same issue. Necromancers, you know, is a little too much chaos in the rolls. Same with the explosions. Okay, so we're just going to have to go with all the basic units for this battle. Okay, so we've got a bunch of the melee units. Keep in mind, these guys are still OP by themselves. Don't feel too bad. Or bad at all, preferably. What units aren't OP? So we can have some of these guys to the side. Lucky number seven. I feel like this is a pretty even battle. If we remove the snake arch, that is. Hmm. And we clearly got to move these guys a little closer. Yeah, that's good enough. Probably gonna use the other one for the thumbnail, but uh, this still looks pretty good. At least this will be the main fight. Attack! Oh boy! Oh boy! Ah, at least this, this is why we have a second line of defense, boys. Oh, the front line is getting decimated. They tried to hold back the monks, or at least the stick wielding ones, and they get the axe brought down on them. Kind of feel bad for them if. Oh, never mind. We actually held our ground. I mean, they have got units between our lines, but that's not awful. 
I mean, actually kind of is. They're scaring some of us in between our battles. I just clicked R three times and it only affected twice. Okay, this is a closer battle than I was expecting. Actually, no, this is exactly what I was expecting. What am I talking about? That was the exact point of me cutting them down so drastically. I mean, this knight is about to get jumped by a few dozen soldiers, so that's good to see as always. No, don't do it. You got shields. Come on! There's no way we lose anybody. That hasn't already been lost. I mean, he's using the sword in a prop ineffectively, so uh, you might still have a chance here. You guys still might have a chance here. You use your weapons correctly. Look at you, you've got your shields formed up. What could possibly go wrong? Your spears are basically ready to remove his legs. Shame he didn't actually remove his legs. Yes! This is like it's favoring them, not us. Oh boy. Roman Empire is having a bad month. Yeah, we got most of the fodder units, but it's the executioners and the, sh the stupid knights that are holding their ground. Hey, this guy's still holding his ground, though. Never mind. The moment I say that, he gets sliced open. Thankfully, the executioner axes are clumsy as hell. Why are you throwing a shield over here? He's dead. That's not going to help him. Yes, use your ratio advantage. Never mind, you're gonna die. <gasps> this guy's coming up with the save, he's gonna use the shield. He's gonna block the hit. Never mind, you're dead. You're so dead. Oh, he survived. I mean, we're still losing this battle, but you know, it's the mini victories you gotta take when we're taking so many L's. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get up, soldier. Get up. Don't you dare die to anything less than a knight. Oh boy. Oh boy, he's having a bad day. Oh! He's, wow. he's holding him, but he's holding his own, this guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You got this. Never mind, the moment I say that he dies. Why do I keep saying things then if I, if I just keep getting them killed? Okay, I think we're down to our last trooper. I don't even know where the last trooper is. Somewhere around here? Oh, it's this guy. Come on, you got this. You're the chosen one. You have a spear. There's only a few dozen of them. There's been worse swords, you know. That There's one guy who I forgot the name of fighting 30 soldiers, swordsmen, with a spear. A heavy action spear. I mean, he lost in the end, but it's not about that. <sighs> Can't believe he lost that. It's clearly because they're cheating, as always. Anyway, um... I think that's about it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. It's Guilliam's channel. Comment down below if you see me do some Do 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 Comment down below if you, be, if you want to see me do anything on channel. Be sure there's anything else. It's always satisfying to see all the spears poking out of the shields, you know. Anyway, uh, don't even know uh, any other announcements other than uh, King Battle Ride might not be appearing on the channel ever again. Uh, Otto is probably going to appear whenever the schedule works. So probably never. Uh, don't have any other acquaintances to talk about. Don't have any other plans. Don't really have anything. So thanks for watching, and as always, oh, is this good thumbnail? Have a good day.